<laughs> you lose all sense of technique when, when romance comes into it. Welcome to Famous First on this inaugural YouTube episode of the celebrity interview show where I ask them all about their first times or whilst they're doing something for the first time. God, I'm going to need to shorten that sentence. On this week's show, we have Steve Super GT and he's going to be trying out boxing for the first time. So I brought him somewhere special. How do you feel before we head in? Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Hint, a hint of nervousness. Well, I'm excited. I've always wanted to do it. It is, uh, it's quite an intimidating place if you've not really uh, been into the sort of thing, but um, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to really test me. But I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. So this is Marlon. Hi Marlon, so this is going to be our coach for today. Uh, what do you think? Just take a quick look at his form, what do you reckon? Yeah, it looks good. We've got to see him box though, that's a whole different thing. So what's he got to start off with? We've got to start by taking these shoes off, these shoes are not allowed to be Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Failed at the first hurdle, Steve. Whoops. Broke some rules. That's it. So we're going to get you skipping first of all. Okay. Have you skipped before? A little bit. Maybe when I was about seven. <laughs> cool. All it's right, been yeah. a while. All and right. try and get on the balls of your feet, because that's mostly what we're going to be using so, in boxing, is be able yeah. to move a little bit more faster by just getting onto the top. If you see my shoe, just that top bit there. How much longer can you keep that up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, try and slow down a little bit more as well. You see where you're bending your legs? You don't have to do that. All you have to do is just this. That's it, that's better. So Steve, tell us about your first memory. Skipping. Oh, that is a tough one. Yeah. I think probably like playing out in the garden at home yeah. at my parents' house when I was maybe like five. Yeah. I used to have like this little, my, well, my bike, just like riding up and down the garden. That's the earliest thing I can remember maybe like when I was six. I'm impressed you're remembering these things and skipping. This yeah. is, oh. oh. Very good multitasking skills. Yeah. And that's all we need to teach as well. You need to, in boxing, you need a, your lower body and upper body coordination. Sure. Especially yeah. with our hands, because our hands and feet have to move with each other the whole time. Even when we're blocking shots, if we're stepping back, when we're rolling, all the time our lower body and our upper body's got to be moving. What we can do as well, we'll give it a try. As we skip, I'm going to do a single leg out each time. Let's give that a try. And let's just go nice and slow, good. Oh. That's it, you can just use a rhythm as if you're here. One, two. It is quite hard just getting the uh, rhythm of that. Good. That's it, just really take your time, you know, go as slow as you want. Okay, no Steve, rush. tell us about your first, uh, first airplane ride. Where did you go? Oh. Um, I'm going to have to go back to the sink. That was to San Francisco, when was it, like 1998? Oh, nice on the way to visiting family in Hawaii. I distinctly remember having peanuts. That's the main thing I remember about that flight. What was Hawaii like? What did you think it was going to be like? Oh, it was everything. It was amazing. Like, it was the greatest place ever. Everyone welcomes you so, you know, so nicely. Do you want a little break for a sec? Yeah. 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 That's, that's a lot of skipping, to be fair. So what we need to do now is we'll get a start. So you're right-handed or left-handed? Right. Right-handed. So we're going to get our left foot forward. So what we can do is we can put our feet like this and then all we're going to just do is move one out to the right like that. Then we're going to turn our foot. We're going to move it again, turn our foot again, turn our toe, and then we're going to just turn slightly and then there we go, we've got to start that. So that's about... It, how does that feel? Does that feel quite natural? Yeah. Bend our legs slightly and then we're going to keep our hands up nice and tight. Then what we're going to do is step forward and then we're going to step back. So you're sort of pushing off pushing off our back foot, that's yeah. it. So this one, that's it. So we're gonna lift our front foot up, and then at the same time as we lift our front foot, we're gonna push off our back foot. Yeah. Step, that's how we're gonna move forward. And then we're just gonna reverse it back the other way around. So we step off our front foot first, and then we lift up our back foot. Just, just stepping forward and then stepping back after. Forward, good. Step back, step back. Now as we step in, we step in, we step back, we step back. You see, I'm hardly moving anything. Nothing's yeah. really moving. I don't wanna give anything away. So Keep them down like this. Perfect. That's it. Step forward, step back. Stay there. Think about there. That's yes, it. So I was, it wasn't That's it. So then we've got to keep that there. That's it. Feel the inside of your arms touching your body. So then you yeah. know that you've closed there. But that's okay, it. Steve, tell us about your first best friend. Um, yeah, my friend Sam went off a 
like from primary school. I know him more than 20 years now. And luckily, I still know him very well. Um, very good friend. Very, very good friend. Does he have all the secrets? He, has all, he knows everything. He knows more than I do. You step left and then step right after. Step left, step right. So we go forward, forward, back, back, step left, step right. You sure you ain't done any boxing before? You should. I mean, I'm into boxing. I yeah. have friends who do it. I watch it. Like I watch I show it. you a few things. Mm, you saying he's a natural? He has, yeah. He's, he's learning very quickly, which is good. I'll take that. But we, we're not getting punched. Get in. the car. You might crap. have to come down here after. Yeah. <laughs> we're not. I'm not getting punched in the face yet. That's when it really yeah, yeah. starts. Yeah. Side. That's it. Side. Steve, Ooh. first love. First. Love. Come First on, let's have a primary school crush or some stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's a girl called Chloe Hart. Oh, Absolutely. I feel like there's still a thing. <laughs> she lives in New Zealand now, I think. I haven't seen her for like 10 no, years. No, um, no, we're friends on Facebook, but uh, she, I, I really fancy Notice her. Notice how he couldn't do back, the thing whilst he was talking about her. He had to stop. I know, he's just like, <laughs> you just lose, Too emotional. All, you lose all sense of technique when, when romance comes into it. Jab, and we go back. Left, right. Left, right, step, step, again. Jab, jab, left, right, left, right. Step to the side, step to the side, that's it. Okay, this time I want you to tell me, while you're doing this, about uh, the first career you wanted to have as a kid. Oh, first career. While you're doing it, while you're doing it. Okay. That's it, so keep about brain and mind. Ah, uh, feet apart. Oh, what's my first? Good. First career. <laughs> yeah, Molly, you take over. Take over yeah, 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 no, no, do it, do it. Yeah. I think for me, yeah. first career must have been wanting to be a footballer. Yeah. I was into football at a young age, so. How far did you get? Not very. Hence, I'm not playing for a Arsenal right now. Brilliant. It's a bit hard yeah. to do that and talk. They had a go at me for that, for saying that I don't know what I wanted to be at 14. I was like, who, who knows? No one knows. I'm still making it up now. Oh, here we go. Marlon's getting rowdy. Marlon's getting rowdy. <laughs> so it sounds like someone's being murdered in here. So what was the first uh, movie you saw in the cinema? The earliest one I can remember, yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Really? Whole family. Yeah. I think, that, I mean, that's the earliest, earliest one I can remember. So we're talking, when did that come out? Mid 90s? Long time, long time. Did it scar you for life? Uh, it is quite, when you realise, when you watch these Disney films back now, you realise they're actually pretty, they're pretty gruesome. Uh, even now they're quite scary as an adult. Okay. First car you drove? Well, it's got to be the one I learned to drive in, a Vauxhall hands Corsa. Up Keep our hands up, throw the jab. That's it. Good. One, two. One, two. Good. First racing game you ever played? Where you are, yep. throwing the four, left hand all the way out. That's it. Good. Four. First racing game you ever played? Um, v Rally jab. on PlayStation. One. Two. What jab. did you like about it? Because it was a racing game, that's why I loved it. <laughs> And when you're throwing your shot, just yep. throw this, and then I want you to rotate your shoulder. Keep your right hand up tight at the same time. Bring your hand all the way back. So That's it. Good. Okay, first time right racing a car. Two. One, two. Jab. Jab. Right. First time racing a car. Um, four. A real life car? Yeah. Four, four. Right. Jab. Jab. Right. <laughs> <laughs> see, you got to be switched on the set. You yeah. see, I'll tell you what, when you are fighting and, you're, and you've got the referee, the referee's going to be saying instructions to you at yeah, the you same listen, time. Yeah. yeah, you still, and especially your coach as well when you're sparring. So that kind of, you have to have that calm in the chaos. It's a chaotic moment that you'll be in there in the ring, someone's throwing punches at you, you've got to throw back, 
but at the same time you have to follow instructions at the same time. Yeah. I mean, they might not That's be asking it. you about your deepest childhood memory no, at no. the yeah. moment, but you know. The worst thing is, is that it's, it's all happening on your first day. Yes. It's, it's yeah. firing questions at you and you still have to think. Give it a go, it's a good. First time kind. Four. Four. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. This is really good. <laughs> okay, first time carting. Good movement. That's it. Nice two. Was August okay, right. 2001. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, straight right. Ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, was it Bumble Park? I was there, I was right. there on my own. Good. Jab, jab. The right hand to the body. Oh. Ah, right hand. That's <laughs> it. Hard as you can. Go for it. Jab. Jab, then straight right up. There you go. And then when you throw that right, that's it. Exactly yeah, that. Now you're correcting yourself. What was your first job? Good. Right hand. Done. Good. First job? First job. Left it. Was uh, packing internet orders for, for nice. a clothing company in a warehouse. And how was that? Oh, it was amazing. Left it. And then we got to keep it was our incredible. right hand up tight at the same time. First time someone called you Alex Alban. Jack. Jab. Um, right hand. Ten. Well, did you start it? Yeah. Right to be honest, like, it's a self-created thing, Jab. I think. <laughs> ah, step in. That's it. And how did you step in? What was your first ever YouTube video title? That's it. Straight in. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Good. First YouTube title? It was uh, F1 2011. No, ah, it was Dirt. say stop. Come on. It was on Dirt 2. Yeah. That's it. Some sort of time trial. Uh, Stay lower. On the demo? Sit down nice and low as well as you're throwing your shots. Yeah. How many views did it get? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like 5,000 or something. Do you want a little break for a sec? Have a sit down. That's a lot of boxing. That's good exercise, that is. That's good. I like that. Yeah. Might have to do it more. Yeah, we're just getting started. Yeah. Things like boxing, I've always wanted to do it. I just never got round to Man, it. Man, you should think about giving it a go, you know? Yeah. I mean, say six months' time, this is your first session, maybe you can think about having a white collar? Yeah. Oh! Well, I mean, you two do love to box each I other, know. so, Yeah, you there's know. a lot of them. I'm waiting for that day that, I don't know, the big boxing match, me versus, well, who should I fight? Fight another car Joe racer. Weller. Yeah, Joe Weller. <laughs> what was the first time you ever got starstruck? Was it Lando? Do you get starstruck? No, not really. Did you touch his face lovingly? <laughs> Meeting Lando was like, I, I wasn't starstruck at all. That's not to like say that he isn't a star, because of course he is, but um, it just felt very normal meeting him. It was like, it was like oh, he's my mate already. It felt kind of normal. Um, maybe Lewis Hamilton. We met him in, um, in Monaco. Julie was there as well. Um, you know, he just has a bit of an aura, doesn't he, when he walks in. So maybe him. Didn't get to talk to him though, really. No, well, maybe a few words. I sat next to him when we, we did a race, didn't we? Oh, of course. So. Who would you get starstruck meeting? <laughs> like, who would freak you out if you actually were in the same room as him? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like Kimi Raikkonen. Yeah. If he walked in, it'd be... I've never really met him before, so I think that would be a cool one. If he, walked, if he walked in right now, wanted a bit of sparring, that'd be very good. Next bit. <sighs> right, are you ready? I'm ready. Get in that ring. Oh, my goodness. Go. Is it? Can you even get in the ring is the oh. question. Here we go. Fairly elegant. Okay. okay. Can I levitate on the side? Yeah, yeah. I might do a straight punch. Wait, wait. Oh, God. Oh, this is fun. All right. Remember, you've got to be answering these questions whilst you're getting the shit kicked out of you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. First time you Googled yourself. Uh, <laughs> can't remember the first time. Yeah. But I can confirm that I have done it. Yeah. Was there a really terrible one that happened? It sticks in the mind. Okay. First time. <laughs> First time you bought something really expensive and very stupid? My car. My car last year. Yeah? Oh. Talk us through, what's your car? Right. 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 
Oh, <laughs> okay, talk us through to what's in your car and so, how expensive it was. Yeah, I bought an M2. I should have bought a house, but you can't drive a house, can you? First time you set out a life goal and completed it. That's got to be YouTube. Yeah? What? What, did, what was your goal at the start? So, I mean, to begin with, it was just for fun. Yeah. But... What was your aim? Did you have an amount of subscribers or anything like that? Never had a name at the beginning. When was the first time you realised that it wasn't just for fun and that you could actually do it properly? Maybe about half a year before, before I went full time. Yeah. And what was it? What was the thing that made you think that? Um, well, the amount of money you earn. <laughs> it needs to be more than my job so I could leave my job. Okay, yeah. Honest fair. answer, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. When was the first time you were worried you were actually going to die? Maybe. Right now. It's very intimidating having someone right in front of you in a ring. <laughs> but have you ever done anything where you thought like, oh God, this might go a bit wrong? Um, luckily enough, no. Never like when you've been racing or anything like that, you thought like, oh shit. No, I'm good enough. Oh, I I'm see, good enough, I see, enough. I see, I see. Can you remember one of the first times you regretted saying yes to something? Oh, all the time. I used to say to, I, it's like I couldn't. Couldn't say no. I couldn't say no to people, so. I was always doing things I didn't really want to do. Yeah. Don't worry, Julia, I do want to do this. <laughs> Too late now. Was there a first time you ever got peer pressured into doing something? <sighs> this has to be a yes. I know you and your drinking. Drinking? Well, there we go. I mean, I don't know, X amount of Jaeger bombs in a row or something. Too many times to remember on that front. What was the first time you ever broke up with someone? Um, a couple of years ago. Actually, yeah? Yeah. Long relationship, six years. It's a long time. But um, yeah, it was an unfortunate thing. Just, you know. It like, happens to everyone. Yeah. Was it, was it awkward though? Because they're always awkward, right? It wasn't too bad. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. It could have been a lot worse, I think. But, um, you know, we still get along, so. That's good. It's a, it was a peaceful resolution. Okay, what was the first time you ate something that you thought was going to be really disgusting but was actually really nice? Oh, in the Philippines. <laughs> Probably in the Philippines. Yeah. Like, they have a lot of seafood. Yeah. They put it down on the table. They have like a communal dinner, you know, big yeah. table full of food. Yeah. But I thought I'd try everything. Yeah. Some of the fish there sort of did have very questionable smell <laughs> and texture, but then yeah. you eat it and it's actually really nice. Oh so here God. it is. This is the final. This is the sparring this match. This is it. Marlon's ready. He's got, oh, he is ready. Look at these guys. Oh, children. You ain't got one. I'm losing my Screw teeth. Screw your teeth. Say right. Okay, to my ready. Teeth. I'm going to do the bell. Ding, 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 ding. All right, come on then. Put it together. Put it together. Get in there, Steve. <laughs> I'm Don't punching him in. Get some good shots in here. It's consensual, it's fine. It's a 10 9 round for me so far. <laughs> Maybe a 10 8. <laughs> oh, got me right in the. Steve, he's got you on the ropes, mate! He's got you on the ropes! <laughs> God, that's so, it, that's it, that's it! so it. fast! <laughs> it's so quick! That's it, good. Yeah, yeah, this is it! Oh, 
And then if you just end it with a knockout punch, Steve, that'd be great for the video. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Steve, one final question. When yeah. was the first time you actually felt like a baller in your job? What, what happened? Well, I went to Nürburgring a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Record a video. Yeah. CEO of Fanatec gave me his race car <laughs> to drive around the track for free. Yeah. <laughs> Just felt like a baller, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Don't let your guard down while you're being a baller. All right, Steve, have you stopped sweating, firstly? Nope. Nope. See, like, it's still, still coming through. <laughs> it's been a good 20 minutes since we stopped, but I'm, I'm still, that was pretty intense, that, that last little bit especially. Yeah. When you're getting aggressively punched in the head many times and you have no idea how to get away from it. This was the first time you've ever done boxing. Like, what, what's your kind of take on it now? You had like a minute to sort of think about it. Yeah, I mean, boxing's always something I wanted to get into, just never really got around to it. Um, I really enjoyed it, I think, You've got to think, it's physical and mental, it's a bit of everything. I think it's just a really good workout. It's probably one of the best ways you can work out. And uh, I, I think I might do it, do a few more sessions. Here we are at the ripe old age of 30, now just beginning. So old. I know, so old. Uh, hopefully I'm not past it just yet. Not yet. But I, th I think I can get into it. What are some other things that you've never done before that you'd like to try for the first time? Now that I've, I feel like I've, I've kind of opened the door to yeah. possibility, what have you never done before that you'd like to do? I mean, there's the typical one of like skydiving, bungee jumping, getting a tattoo. I still don't have one. I think that feels like maybe GT next year, drunken yeah, decision making. I, I think have about 10 Jager bombs, <laughs> then decide what to get and then do it. I think that'll be an interesting video. Marlon thought you were amazing. He was like really impressed. So, you know, maybe just forget this whole like sim racing karting nonsense. Screw Lando Norris. Yeah. Screw that guy. Just become a boxer. Well, we've got a solid uh, backup plan there in case <laughs> things all go. Yeah, I, I was going to say, we said it earlier. Yeah. You never know. And we might have a boxing match, Super GT versus. We just sim racing. Sim one, racing right? boxing match. Bring sim racing to the to the mainstream. You know? <laughs> so we've got to work out who I need to fight. Okay, all right. Can answers in the comments below. Explain a bit about what you do with Lando Norris, because like, what is it? How does it work? Yeah, so we're in a group together called Quadrant. It's myself, Lando. There's three others, and then well, there's a, there's about seven of us in total. Yeah. yeah. But the original, there's an original five of us. We make. Uh, YouTube videos together and it, obviously Lando's a very busy guy so we don't always get to record with him mm. but um, yeah, we was at his house last week yeah this I'll drink some rice Look at this delightful got a lovely sign on okay yeah you no know, Lando's a really good fun guy he um, I was saying earlier that you know when I first met him it just felt like it didn't feel like oh my god he's a mega celebrity well mega is he quite star. cash he, he has like yeah, a casual air yeah, about very him casual and just very good guy to get on with so yeah he's really cool could you hug him if you wanted him well how what kind of level of friendship do you have i don't know about a hug i think he's i think he probably has this consciousness about getting close to people he's right. always traveling around the world yes, yeah okay so say covid wasn't a factor oh, could yeah. you hug him yeah yeah we'll go in for a hug. yeah what's the most surprising thing uh about Lando Norris that people might not know? Um, I think he's, I think he, he, to some extent he has this image of like being a bit of a joker, very funny, and that's, you know, rightfully so, but he's very professional. He works very hard, um, you know, he's always working, always working out to get better. So you don't always see that, but he's definitely doing it. In sort of like your career and stuff, who's like the people you've met who've like really impressed you? You're like, shit, these people are amazing. Um, well, I mean, a lot of, I always pay attention to other YouTubers, you know, especially in sim racing. And sometimes you just watch their content and you think, yeah, these guys are working hard and, you know, you get surrounded by these people. Someone like um, Ethan, he's in Quadrant, he's one of the best Call of Duty players in the world, FIFA kill. And you just, you just see the grind that he's on, how much time he puts in, how much effort he puts in, how good he is. And you just, when you're surrounded by these sort of people, you just want to you know, go on to their level and just match them, you know? So, just surrounding yourself with these, these cool people who are successful, work really hard, it's always good. The first person you were envious of, can you remember? Well, the, the YouTube answer, I remember yeah. back in the day, right? Before I went full-time, it was like 2016-ish, 2017. No, 2017. Remember I, I remember I met the Slap Train. He's a, like a racing game YouTuber. 
and he was full time and I was like a year and a half away from full time and I was just like wow I want to just be able to do what he does like make videos for a living and you know he actually said to me you could do it put the effort in put the time in and so oh. one year later it happened so I envied what he had but yeah. he was very like encouraging about it and you know he helped me and inspired me to to get to where I am. Who is your most fanciest celebrity friend? Is it Lando? I guess it has to be Lando. Who's the second most exciting one? Julie Hardy. Well, I mean, yeah, no, obviously not, but... <laughs> Thanks! It's that pigeon over there. Celebrity pigeon. Pigeon! <laughs>